Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Once Human video. Now, as you grind further and further into the late game, or towards the end of the beta at least, I'd say it's probably mid-game by the time the actual game releases, but I digress. But yeah, as you progress further and further through the beta, you'll start needing a lot more of the same specialty items. Um, thing, things like automatic parts, special parts, special plastics, all that kind of stuff. So I want to show you guys one of the easiest ways to get, uh, I would say, late game quote unquote materials things like yeah things like engineering plastics special plastics fireproof plastics all this kind of stuff right here um and i'm going to show you like the easiest place to get it it's from one place so you can keep farming it over and over and over and over again this is just from two two go throughs of the facility so as you guys can see it's it's quite it's really good like this isn't even a lot i i do it like three or four times until my weapons and my armor need repairing um or I need bullets. But yeah, anyway, I shall see you over at the location. Alrighty guys, so we're over here at the location for the securement silo. Psy, Pi, I just keep calling it Pi. It's probably Psy, I really don't care how you pronounce it. But um, yeah, so you wanna to come to this location right here. Now it is rough coordinates five, sorry, 2506 by negative 2606. It's just down the road from a teleportation tower. And I will zoom out so you guys can see. It's kind of in the middle of, uh, of nowhere there's not really much around it but yeah so um you will have to be qu like quite further quite further into the game it is in the red sand so it's like fourth boss so you'd probably be like level what like 40 probably by now i mean as you can see it says level 48 but anyways now i don't know about you guys but i tend to struggle finding special plastics in like bulk in the wild i guess you could call it these little sods right here now, I only have this many because I've literally just been grinding the securement silo over and over and over and over again. And it's super fun. It's not super, it's not, it's like it's challenging, but it's not super challenging. And you get an absolute ton of stuff. Not to mention as well, you do actually get quite a few of these uh, special furniture formulas as well. Uh, as you can see, so we've got like a wall clock. We've got impressionalism or whatever it is. It's artwork. We've got a chair. Like we've got loads of stuff I've actually... Um, activated a few of them so they're not all there but yeah you get tons of stuff from this place it's super easy there's only one boss there's like I, I believe there's two gear crates as well um yeah it's 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 super fun so i'm gonna run through this um real quick with you guys it shouldn't take too long but yeah and then you'll get the gist of what i do where to loot and then um I'll let you guys run through it. Alrighty, so I'm quickly going to change my shotgun over to my sniper. Perfect. So we want to loot the handbag. So these guys, this, um, I think it's level 45. These guys are at, they're super easy. Um, and I'm not even like, I'm a level 50, but like, I'm not fully like kitted out yet. It does take quite a while to get fully kitted out in this game. But yeah, so I could be a lot further on. But other than that, I think it takes about 15, 20 minutes max. Bending. I hate those red ones with the grenade launchers. I tend to do a lot of this with my sniper rifle. I love the, cause it's a legendary. I think it's a legendary at least. Might be purple, but it has a special effect where um, if you hit a certain, I, I don't know, it has a certain chance apparently of doing it. But if you hit a certain place, I think it's like the top of the head. It always seems to go off. But basically it's that secondary explosion effect. It does more damage than the actual damage of the rifle. It's kind of crazy sometimes. Now it is worth noting as well, you will need to get one of the secret rooms. You will need an explosive. Oh, there we go. Got a wall vine. That looks cool. And it's always, I always seem to get those unique unlocks from this uh, suitcase luggage thing, Bob here. 
so definitely be sure to check that storage cabinet always gives me food it's always giving me pickles it's great to get into the next area we need to loot the storage crate and grab the card perfect the harpoon gun woods bag Now I, I don't think there's any second boss in this location like there is others. I know sometimes there's other little secret little bosses that you can do, but as far as I'm concerned in this one, it's just it's just the one. See if I hit above the the head where the light is, it seems to go off. I don't know how they're missing, but that's okay. See, so my sniper's doing like 4200 on the headshot, and yet the explosive damage after that's doing 4500, so... You gotta love that explosive effect. And it stacks up as well, so you can be dealing more and more damage with it. Depending on what other traits I've got on. want to i just want to touch on something as well like all the stuff that we're lo like we're looking for it has nothing to do with the actual like fighting or the actual like level itself it's always searching uh crafting boxes and storage crates and just picking up everything that can be scrapped it's not so much about the fighting is you realistically from the fights you're just going to get some maybe some c4 if you're lucky um, and some gunpowder. Like, that's pretty much it. And if you're really lucky, they might drop some ammo. But other than that, from the fighting, you're not going to get anything good. It's all from looting these areas. See, just gunpowder. I mean, I'm not going to complain about gunpowder. I love gunpowder, but... I believe there's about 70 enemies you have to kill plus the boss so it's really not that crazy and they're all kind of split up too oh, that one i missed all right drone boy Oh crap, there's the big boy. I was just about to say, where is he? Why is it not? Sorry guys, don't mind me. I guess that maybe that's like the secondary little mini boss area that most others have but sometimes it's like separated away from the group like it's hidden by something but i couldn't seem to find anything i thought maybe it was behind the curtains maybe you have to use like your uh, your space time ability thing maji your q but yeah no nah, I, I couldn't find anything but if you guys <laughs> if you guys find anything definitely be sure to let me know because i run this thing all too often and if there's any other area we can go to i'm so down for that Don't forget, there is hidden handbags and stuff in there, special materials, perfect. I'm a big George G, lads.
Sorry guys, I'm trying to go through this as quick as I possibly can. There is, there's no, there's no real enemies now after this. It's just the boss fight. Well, there is enemies at the boss fight, but no more. We just have to do a quick little challenge through the lasers and we get a second gear crate because there's two gear crates. Uh, two gear crates in this level. I wish there were weapon crates because, man, I need those weapon blueprints bad, but that's okay. All right, so you can either go this way or you can go this way. This one is where the gear crate is. Some are just commando dive my way through most of these. They will, some actually do do damage, some don't. Ha, <laughs> do do. Um, but yeah, so just be careful because they do do, they do like three quarters of the HP. We are. And I'm loving those platinum crystals as well. Yeah, see, some don't do damage, some do. It's quite weird. Now, this is where I was telling you you need a C4. So, anywhere where you see these XXXXX walls with the... Yeah, you just need to blow it up. Now, once we activate this, the these set of laser lights turn off. So, we want to run back and go through that door that we just blew up. Uh, normally, there is some really good stuff in here. That This time, I was... Uh, Pretty unlucky. The first time I did it, there was two legendary items that we could have scrapped. Not legendary, but like, you know, like how you can get like the toy horses and the rocket pods and stuff like that. The ones that grind down into materials really well. Now, this one's really strange. So it's right there. He's in the fridge, right? So he has a few different like levels. So right now he has a shield. The shield is the hardest to take down. And it's not really that hard, but it's like, you know. So once you take the shield down, then he is immune and you have to shoot his generators. To get to the generators, you have to use his little crystal things that you find on the floor to break down the barrier to shoot then generators. And you have to do that three times and then he's basically unimmune and you can just absolutely like smoke him. So I like to just sit in here for a little bit and just toast him up. Now you have to watch out for the icicles falling down from the ceiling. If they hit you or you're in the radius, you instantly die. Yeah, it's a one tap, and I absolutely hate it because I never make I never make revives in this game. There we go. So you grab one of these crystals, you throw it at that, and then it'll eventually dissipate. You shoot it. Now for the ones you've done the first one, you can actually keep hitting him. You'll hit him until his first bar goes down and then he'll go immune and then you have to do two in a row. Go immune in a second. There we go. Now each time he goes immune, there's more and more enemies that get unlocked. Yeah, so he's unfrozen a uh, e Rosetta Elite, which is the minigun dude down there. Like to try and get rid of these guys the the actual damage from the the boss doesn't really do much to be honest he the the rosetta agents do more to me than the the actual deviation thing does we go. all right so we're gonna look for another crystal Go. That's the first one down. Now he's gonna unlock more frozen agents. I absolutely hate the snipers. The passion. Oh, shit. We nearly got crushed. Alrighty. Oh shit. Yep, see, there you go. It happens so fast too, you barely get the red indicator before it drops on your head. 
now. So I would recommend taking in um, revives or whatever they're called, stamina shots. I don't even know what they're called at this point because you do have to start this again. All right, so now all the shields have been taken down. He is like completely unimmune to everything. So you can just absolutely go ham on him. I like to get back up to the top. Um, it's much easier to hit him from up top. You just have to take out all the snipers and whatnot. See what I mean? So like I said, I'm not even like fully geared out. Like I'm not at like a top tier uh, like weapon list and mod list, but you still absolutely shred him. I mean, he is only level 45, so it does make sense, but. Now, he is dead. We just have to focus on the rest of the rovers of the agents. and easy normally it's a little bit more smoothly than that so i do apologize now once you get to the top and claim the reward there is sometimes a um, h37 deviation floating around as well i think i've done this about 10 times now and i've got three of them so it's it's not the best odds but honestly that's that's pretty darn good odds if you ask me but um yeah guys so this is honestly the best way i found to get myself loads of uh the end game kind of uh, lootables and especially that special plastic man i can't get enough of this it's used in literally everything weapon manufacturing upgrades gear manuf like gear build uh gear upgrades gear calibration uh what is it cars car upgrades like you name it pretty much special plastic is used in everything so the more of this you can get um the better so i do recommend just doing this it runs a lot more smoothly than i just shown you so i do apologize but yeah honestly guys yeah just, just trust me. Do this. You won't regret it. Thank me later. Subscribe for more. I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.